Right now, only Pfizer's vaccine is approved for kids and only those 12 and older. Denver 7 education reporter Nicole Brady joins us because you've been tracking how many Colorado teens are getting the vaccine, mm -hmm. but families won't know anything about others vaccination status in their schools. Yeah, unless unless you want to go around and ask everyone in your class, Brian, uh, we've confirmed with multiple school districts that they are not allowed to release vaccination information to the community. And in fact, spokespersons for Douglas County and Cherry Creek schools told me that they will not even be collecting information on the vaccination status of their students. Denver Public Schools told me they're still waiting on guidance from health leaders, but even if they don't collect, even if they do collect it, none of that information would be released publicly. So this could mean many parents are wondering how protected is my neighborhood school? Well, there are some ways to find out. This map from the Denver Health and Hospital Authority shows the vaccination rates of 12 to 17 year olds throughout the metro area. Take a look there. You can see the darker blue area is that's higher vaccination rates. The lighter areas, the brownish, grayish, white areas, those are the lowest rates of vaccination among 12 to 17 year olds. I also checked with individual public health and agencies, and these numbers have been going up in recent days. In Douglas County, where school starts on Monday, 45% of 12 to 15 year olds are vaccinated. 60% of 16 to 17 year olds are fully vaccinated. In Arapahoe County, you see the numbers, they're a little bit lower. In Jeffco, they're a little bit higher, 56% uh, of 12 to 15 year olds and 61% of 16 to 9 year old 19 year olds and then in Denver County they track things a little differently but 63% of 12 to 17 year olds in Denver County have received at least one dose of a COVID vaccine earlier this week Governor Polis urged all 12 to 17 year olds to get the vaccine because we are really hoping kids will stay in the classroom this year Brian and be able to participate in all the extracurricular activities as well